master error handling in javascript to debug faster avoid crashes and deliver a flawless user experience welcome everyone in today's session we are going to talk about error handling in javascript so without wasting any time further let's proceed with the video Now why error handling matters? Now to answer this question, first of all we should answer what is error handling. Now the process of catching and managing errors in a program is known as error handling. So basically whenever any kind of error occurs in a program, it actually stops the program in giving the desired result. So handling errors is actually catching up those situations where the program is not able to deliver the desired result. and to manage it so that the program can deliver what is expected now why it's important because it ensures a smooth user experience now no developer wants that the user will face a bad experience while using the software so to do that a developer must handle all the possible errors that can occur while the application is running and the second advantage is it prevents the application from breaking due to unforeseen issues so common error sources in javascript are typing errors network failures invalid data or even logical bugs now before proceeding ahead let's see what are the different types of errors in javascript so basically one of the most common errors are syntax error now these kind of errors occurs due to the syntactical mistake or any mistake in writing down the code in correct syntax the second type of error is runtime errors runtime errors occur when the code or the program is actually running now these kind of errors stops the program in between now some of the common mistakes like null reference error suppose in your code you are trying to access any property of an object but by default that object itself is null so when you will try to access any property of it you will get a null reference error logical errors are basically the errors where the logic of the developer is wrong for example to attain something you have to divide then multiply and then add but instead of that you have done add then multiplication and then division so there can be a circumstance that you will get a wrong result at that specific moment of time and it is nothing but an example of logical error now what are some common examples of errors in lwc so basically one of the common errors that we get over there is with api calls when we get invalid data from any kind of third party apis another error is missing property of an object suppose you are accessing a specific property of an object on your page but you forgot to define that specific property itself and also sometimes unexpected null value so these are some of the common errors that you will face in it now the try catch statement now try catch statement is one of the legacy statement that is used for handling errors in most of the programming languages where we have two specific blocks one is the try block and the other one is the catch block now try block contains the code that can generate runtime errors catch block contains the code that should be executed in case runtime error occurs now you might be thinking okay so what about syntax errors and logical errors see syntax errors are basically notified by the compiler itself compiler will not be able to compile the program if there is any syntax error so it can be found and handled very easily For case of logical errors you have to dry run your program or you have to run your program while adding some breakpoints in between and see where your logic is failing to give the desired result. Runtime errors are basically handled with the help of try catch statement. Now what is try catch as i told you it is block of code that handles errors in javascript now how it works so if any error occurs in the try block control will move from the try block to the catch block itself if we don't have any try catch what happens in that scenario so let me show you these things practically where i will also show you the syntax of a try catch so let's see a try catch example so an example scenario is when we are attempting to pass an invalid json data json is javascript object notation which is basically used to transfer data from one platform to another platform and nowadays when we are talking about apis and integration json is widely used when we are trying to convert a json data 
that time an exception can occur now i will show you what happens when an exception occurs and how we will handle it with the help of try catch so guys here you can see i created an error handling folder where i am having try catch intro.html and try catch intro.js now in try catch intro.html i am just including try catch intro.js inside try catch intro.js i am having a string and i have written an object inside this string now i'm printing that specific string the name of the variable is json text then i'm printing hello and then i'm parsing that json text into a json body after that i'm printing after parse then the json body and then a mandatory state now if i will execute this see what happens so i've already saved it to see the output i will come here from the url i will remove the file as well as the last folder name and enter from here i will select error handling and then i will click on try catch intro.stm so here you can see it is first printing the json text which is nothing but a text you can see it's not an object you cannot collapse or uncollapse it then hello then after pass and then that json is converted into json body or normally javascript object and finally the mandatory state now in case of any issue in the code let me show you that now if you see what i did is i removed those two double quotes in the property name and as soon as i saved it here it is showing an exception so what happened first json text is printed then hello is printed and then it tried to parse it and in this line exception occurred so because of that the first two line executed successfully showed the output then an exception occurred and because of that program stops abruptly what we can do is we can have a try catch this will have a block and this statement in fact rest everything i will keep it inside the try after the try i will have a catch catch will have an error object and i will simply print the error and save so right now you see what happens is you will say that okay program stopped again but program didn't stop abruptly so why we are not able to see anything after this pass the reason is very simple everything is inside try so what happens is the try block tries to execute the statement inside it and in case if any statement generates any exception try will not execute it and it will directly hand over the control to the catch so because of exception over here it handed the control towards the catch and that's why rest everything is not printed so what i will do is this after parse and mandatory statement i can have after catch and now if i save it you can clearly see that here the exception occurred then it came to catch block and that error is printed if i don't want to print the error instead of that i simply want to print that json body is corrupt so that makes more sense to the user and developer will understand okay there is some error in the json body you can mention it with error identifier as well or you can directly use console.error as well okay so it, it will show it as an error that json body is corrupt and then the person will come here and will correct the json body and then after if i will save it no error will occur and everything will execute successfully so that's how try catch is basically used to handle exceptions the finally block now it is another block that we basically use with try catch now what is finally block now this is another block that we use with error handling along with try catch it is a block that runs regardless of whether exception or error occurred or not so in case error occurs try will stop executing move to the catch and after the catch finally will be executed and in case of no error try will execute catch will be skipped and then finally will be executed so what's the use case of having a finally block finally block is basically used to clean up any task or close resource or resetting variables whatsoever you want to do as soon as you want to finish up that task all those last finishing stuff is kept in finally but people generally ask me even if i will not have finally block and whatsoever i will write after catch will be executed then what is the benefit of having a finally because whatsoever i will write down outside try catch will be executed whether exception will occur or not so i'm telling you a practical example which can be resolved only by using a finally okay guys so let me show you how to use finally block so here in the try catch what i am doing after try catch i am going to use a finally block now inside this finally block i am going to have these two statements if i save this and see the output it won't make any change to me it won't create any difference 
so even when i was having these two statements outside finally whether exception occurred or not it will be executed right so anything after try catch will be executed so what is the use of having a finally block now to explain that i have created two more files finally.html and finally.js now what change i have done here is i am having a function convert we are passing a json text to this convert function and this convert function is accepting that text converting into json and returning it so here instead of that it will return that json body okay now let me show you the output of it okay first of all come here remove the file name from the url and click on finally.html and here let me call the convert function and pass this json text which i have already created and pass this json text which i have already created and the value that is getting returned from there let me hold it inside a console log and save it now the next thing to do is to see the output here you can clearly see i am passing this json text and it is returning me this json body now in case of if i am passing a wrong text what will happen so if i am passing a wrong text and saving it you can see in that situation in that specific situation it is printing the error it is printing the mandatory statement and here finally it is printing undefined but why when there was no error why mandatory statement was not getting executed because in that situation if you see in this function you are get you are converting the json text no error occurred and hence it is returned this function is returned here and because this function is returned from here itself it didn't executed anything afterwards so to resolve this finally is a better option what you can do is you can have a finally have this console log inside finally and save it so even if there is any return statement and your function have to return back from the try block or from the catch block still the function will go to the finally will execute whatsoever is there in the finally and then only it will return and now you can see mandatory statement is printed over here and then after that returned object is printed even in case of any error still mandatory statement will be printed because it is part of the finally block so this is one of the example where finally is useful when you are returning something from your try catch but you want something to be executed before it is getting returned common errors and how to avoid them so reference errors so one of the common error with reference error is accessing variables that don't even exist so what we can do is we can use optional chaining i told you you should first verify whether anything like that is null or undefined if it is null or undefined don't access anything from it if it is not then only access any property type errors are also one of the common errors where we are using values in an incompatible way there can be different examples for it for example suppose there are two string values containing numbers like 23 and 32 as in form of a string and then you are adding them and then you are trying to fetch the result so that can result into string concatenation suppose 23 and 20 the final result can be 2320 instead of 43 syntax errors issues with incorrect syntax like missing brackets so the only way to avoid them is regularly perform code reviews or there are some extensions available on visual studio code like linters which can actually pinpoint the positions where you have committed syntax errors examples in lwc context so handling data from apis this is the most crucial thing when we are handling data coming from api and most of the time we are trying to access a specific property and the actual value that is coming from the api turns out to be a null error handling best practices first of all keep error messages user friendly now a few minutes back i shown you inside the catch block when i printed the whole error object itself the message coming out there was not user friendly at all log errors for debugging so always use console.log or console.error to keep track of errors i always use console.error for each errors that i am printing over there use finally for cleanup so if you are resetting state variables if you are closing any connections or if you are removing event listeners use finally block for such cleanups and avoid catching general errors catch specific errors when possible so when you are using try catch always catch specific errors over there rather than catching general errors now error handling in lwc so the common scenarios in lwc is handling failed api calls or invalid user inputs or data inconsistency so the best practices is wrap api calls in try catch and use loading indicators and error messages for better user experience 
Now that marks the end of this session. See you soon in the next session. Till then, thank you and take care.